let's go to the first episode of a mini series of Fallout Shelter. A couple things I thought I'd never say before. Hey, I'm going to be recording an episode on my iPhone. Two, I'm going to be recording a mobile game. Three, I'm going to be recording a mobile iOS Fallout game. Just if you would have said a week ago this would happen, I would say there's no truth to that. But life is funny and Fallout is even better. So we're going to go ahead and start this out. I've played like five minutes of this. I'm going to go ahead and, and turn the volume up here just a hat. Half hair. A half hair. If it gets loud, we'll, we'll go with that. So anyways, I'm playing this on the, the phone. Uh, I cannot confirm nor deny that we may get interrupted with the phone call. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. We're going to do a new vault here. And um, so I'm going to be playing intermittent between my phone and the screen, which is actually kind of cool. I'm actually using a program. It's like 15 bucks. It, it captured this for this. Anyways, now you have... The, now you have to determine the ID of your vault. Choose wisely. So basically we get to number our vault. I'm going to choose my favorite number, which is 009. Oh, we've already created one like that. Can we delete a vault? How do we delete a vault? Ooh, we can't delete a vault. So let's go ahead and, and do, since there's all, already a vault 009 for my test run, let's go vault 112 where the player's well, did I just say that? Anyways, congratulations. vault Tech has selected you to be the overseer of Vault 112. That's cool. They have a, the little... I mean, for a mobile game that's free right now going into this. Nice little touch right there. Okay, the vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. Um, I was going to try recording this on my iPad. Um, it's an iPad Mini, the first generation, but it just ran so much better on my iPhone 6. So, we're going to play on this. I mean... Very excited to play this. It, each room has a special ability. Special attribute uses assigned dwellers with the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. I will not be playing this game. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. Um, I will not be playing this vault off camera. Just so you guys know. I, we, we won't miss anything in this. But uh, Please stand by. When a room finishes production, you have a chance to get bonus caps. The classroom will allow you to train at Dwellers Intelligence. Really excited to play this. A lot of people said, hey, Dan, what's going to fill the slot for City Skylines? We've been going back and forth about should we do a new Vegas? This seems like the perfect melding. All right. So welcome to your new vault overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. All right. Let's do this. First, let's build a room. Tap on the hammer icon to open the build menu. Here we go. Looks like we have 600 caps to spend. Power generator, assigned dwellers here to produce power. Strength, looks like people with strength are best suited there. We'll build the power generator. Tap that to produce power. Tap on the power room. Just through, I should have probably prefaced, this is a free-to-play game. Uh, as if you guys didn't know, but now you know. All right, so let's go ahead and build. Rooms require power to function. Tap again to confirm. Helpful hint, build zones are where you can build rooms. Confirm the location by tapping the build zone. Let's zoom in here. Where do we want to put our, put this? Let's go ahead and put the power right there. Okay, now we need dwellers to make the power generator produce power. Okay, look, new dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Let's look at the stats of the dweller. Tap on a dweller to see their info. Cool, let's check it out. What's up, Merle? Matthew Warner. You can see the dweller's, dweller's special stats. This info tells you where a dweller can be used most effectively. Okay, where can he be used most effectively? To assign a dweller, tap and hold the dweller and drag him to a room. Try assigning this dweller to the power generator, the room you just built. All right, buddy, let's go for a ride. That's cool. That's a, that's a cool little, uh, his ragdoll effect. All right, let's go ahead and, and throw him in the generator. Get suited up. Now, assign the, the second dweller to the power generator. Remember to tap and hold, then drag the dweller to the room. Okay. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and see what's going on with... Nancy? Come here, Nancy. What's her name? Oh, we need to drag her. Okay, cool. There she goes. Let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about here. With me working here, maximum efficiency is guaranteed. Well, we're going to change your name here. Hopefully. Fat thumbs. Okay, can't click on him. Can we click on her? Maybe once you assign them, you can't click on them? Or maybe we're just in the, the tutorial mode. Anyways, want to listen to the radio later. Now that dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double tap on the room to take a closer look. Okay. Sure, maybe we can pick up 
a frequency from someone on the outside. If you're in dire need of extra resources, you, you can use the rush mode. Tap the rush button to open the rush menu. Can we see what he's about first? Let's tap rush. Okay, so... We can rush. There's a 30% chance it looks like a fire. Let's see what happens. That's a cool little VHS. VHS deal there. Success. Great, you've com you've successfully completed your first rush and collected caps. Thank you for that, sir. Let's build a second room. Okay. Second room. You need a diner which will produce food. Tap on the diner. Dwellers re require food to keep their health up. Tap again to confirm. Okay. Let's put the diner on the main floor so you can welcome people. Now let's build one more room. We're getting very egregious here. Water treatment. This time you'll need a water treatment room, which will produce water. Tap on the water treatment. Okay, looks like the stat associated with this is perception. Let's go ahead and build that. Water treatment. Let's put it... Uh, why is it telling us to put it there? We'll put it there. Great work. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Look at the meters to keep track of your resources needs. Okay. There we go. Look, more dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Now that you know the basic rules of Overseer World, keep expanding your vault. Just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy. Good luck. All right, let's do this. Can we rename this person, though, first? There we go. This guy's name is... He's good at strength. We're going to... Oh, you can get new outfits, too. That's cool. Fisterino. Let's rename him, not Matthew Warner. We're going to name him... Wilbur... Power Boy. Never forget. Wilbur Power Boy. Okay. Wilbur Power Boy, and what's her name? Her name is Margaret Mills. Eh, we're going to name her General Mills. All right. She looks like she's kind of mediocre across the board. We don't want no mediocres, General Mills. If we have to sacrifice anyone, we will sacrifice General Mills. All right, who do we got here? We have Kathy Sutton. She's wearing some. What is she wearing here? What are you wearing? You can send dwellers to explore the wasteland. Drag a dweller outside of the vault and give them supplies to start their adventure. What, what is she wearing here? Looks like we're having a little issue with her. Alright, Kathy Sutton, you maybe get get torched here. Can we throw her put her in the water treatment plant? Zoom out here. Just a general reminder, I'm playing this on an iPhone 5. Male and female dwellers within living quarters have a chance to make babies. Thank you for that, sir. We're just going to try and drag her, get some water treatment going there. Okay. Oh, this looks like a She's the official one. Kathy Sutton. Oh, so... Okay, so I see. So they come in without um, vault suits on. Who's this guy? Stephen Knight. Send dwellers to the wasteland to collect caps, outfits, and weapons. Let's go ahead and rename him. He, this is now not Stephen Knight. This is Stephen King. Stephen King. He looks like he's a janitor, but we don't have a janiting facility. So let's go ahead and... Put him in the water treatment. Get to sweep in there, buddy. Who's up next? Teresa Frosts. We're going to call her. She looks like she's good at C, which is charisma. So we're going to call her Teresa Frost. We're going to call her Teresa Frosted Flakes. And we're going to upgrade your production rooms to produce more resources. Tap the arrow icon in the upper right corner to upgrade a room. Thank you for that tip, Pip-Boy. All right, let's go ahead and we want to put her... Oh, we want to put her in the diner. How do we reassign her? Something's going on there. Oh, collecting of resources. Can we reassign her? Yeah, put her in the diner. Just because she has, she's charisma, don't say, Oh, Dan, that's not a nice thing to do. Or that's... It's not. I'm putting in there because she's high in charisma. She sucks. She's handling the books there. All right, so let's go ahead and see who's up next. Who do we got here? Anna Fisher. Looks like she's good at strength, perception, and what? agility. Anna Fisher. We're going to call her Anna Fish Sticks. She's also going to go in the diner because she's agile. She'd probably make a great short order cook. 
Let's go ahead and put her in the diner. Assign two dwellers in the right room. Halfway there. How do we look at that? Is this radio? I don't know what that is yet. This guy looks evil. He looks like a... He's good at perception. Austin Curtis. I don't like that. We'll call him Austin... Yexus. And he can... I don't know that I trust him. Let's go ahead and throw him in the living quarters for now. Merge rooms can hold more dwellers, so they produce more resources. Okay, let's get this guy back to work, and then we'll go ahead and dabble around. This guy, look, Julian Foster, looks like the, the guy from uh, from Family Ties. Uh, what's his name? Not Alex P. Keaton, the, the dad. I know it's not Ralph Keaton, but we're going to call him Ralph Keaton anyways. I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, since he's this, we could put him as a power supervisor, huh? What's this room? You just use the last available space for dwellers in the vault. Build more living quarters to accommodate more dwellers. Okay. Let's see what's going on here first. Oh, he just leveled up. Wilbur Power Boy just leveled up. The environmental controls, man, the first again, can't say I'm surprised. General Mills, level up. All right. I can see this game being highly addicting, which is why I probably won't play this off camera. All right. Helpful help build more additional storage rooms to upgrade your existing space. Okay, let's see what we can build here. Um, looks like we have to upgrade. Water treatment upgrade. Do we have an option? Oh. We want to build here. Living quarters. So what happens if they're not in a living quarter? What's this guy doing? Put Austin Yexus in the living quarters. See what happens to him. All right, buddy, there you go. Let's just see what's going on before we upgrade life. If we ha lived outside, I'd have servants. Ralph Keaton. You would say something like that. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, looks like we got some food. What does that button do? Oh, there's our dwellers. Okay. What are all these little widgets here? I think this is the non-free-to-play part. Okay. Each lunchbox contains... So this is where you spend actual money. We're not going to spend any money in this episode, but maybe in a future episode. All right. Four Fallout Shelter cards. At least one is guaranteed to be rare or better. What's this collection? Unlock here. How do we unlock? Buy more. All right. Well, thank you, guys. You can buy 40 for nineteen ninety nine. All right. Uh, you can equip items and weapons using... And use Radaway and Stimpaks from the Dweller information by tapping on the Dweller. Okay. I think it's time to build another room here, boys. Living quarters, power generator, diner, water treatment. Have 12. Okay, for us to have a storage room, we need to have 12 dwellers in our vault. So we don't have that. Let's go ahead and build another living quarters. Let's put the living quarters. Should put it next to the diner, but then we're kind of boxed in. Let's go down below for these guys. Okay, so we got to destroy rocks to expand your vault deeper. Okay, so we have 204 caps. We could go deeper. I don't think we're ready for that. I want to see what's in the upper left-hand corner with the 8 spinning plus 1. That means someone's coming, waiting. Lewis Myers, where's he at? There he is, Lewis. Oh, you know what we're changing his name to. It's not Lewis. It's Oscar. Oscar Gomez. Oscar Myers. Okay, there we go. Uh, what is he good at? He's good at L, which is luck. Where does, we'll put him in the living quarters because he's got a ways to go in life. All right. So let's take, uh, collect some water here. Need more dwellers for your vault. Try starting dwellers to the living quarter and see if the magic happens. All right, so I think we just have all dudes in there. So we need to get some... We need to get some... We need to get some... Breeding going on? You could say, let's go ahead and put, uh, see, she's, she runs the shop. Let's go ahead and put, uh, General, that's not General Mills. Who is it? Um, what's her name? Anna Fishstick. She's, she's not, a, she's just a secondary player. She's not a main character in a role, but she could be. Let's see what's going on in here. My, my feet are killing me. I should probably sit down. What's going on here, guys? Just please don't take off your shoes. Wow. It's not going so well for him there, is it? 
All right, I feel kind of creepy. Let's not watch them do their thing. Okay, we got someone else we can level up here. Water treatment. What does it cost us to rush? Nothing, really. It just... We have a chance of a meltdown. Let's get some more water here. Successfully rushed one room. Looks like we got a lunchbox, huh? Chocolate. Definitely chocolate. Complete objectives are in caps. Objectives can be found by tapping the ribbon icon in the pit boy. Alright. Level up, Stephen King. He should be writing. He actually was writing. Get some more caps there. So, we should be le- I didn't really read that. said so we should level something up. This is it. Okay, oh, here's our objective. Assign two dwellers in the right room. Send one dweller to the wasteland. Successfully rush one room. Alright, let's go ahead. Who are we going to send to the wasteland? We said- Ooh, who's this hipster? Randy Chandler. He's good at endurance. I think it's time for you to go. Chandler. Riggs. Isn't that Carl? Curl. We're going to send him out there. Let's go ahead and get him suited up, and then we're going to send him out to collect some stuff. Because he's got some good endurance. Is there any magic happening here yet? You must be a genie because you're making my dreams come true. I'd say things are going well there in the living quarters. Let's let them do their own thing. We're getting some, some energy. Uh, I want to draw you a picture later. Any requests? Looks like they're getting very close here. All right. Building... Two or three of the same type of room next to each other. We'll merge them into a bigger version of the room. Got it. So that's like that XCOM stuff. Yeah, we'll speed this up. No incidents, please. Success. I love the animations in this game. Very cool. Alright. So, I think it's time to send Chandler Riggs out to the wasteland, buddy. Your time is now to earn your stripes. Oh, what is this? Do we have any Stimpies to give him? We don't have any Stimpies. Go explore, buddy. Make sure you equip your dwellers before sending them out to the wasteland. This will increase their chance of survival. We don't have anything to give them. Or do we? Okay, there's our first lunchbox. Good luck, Chandler Riggs. Got some more caps there, too. Should we make another diner? We can rush the diner. I wonder what determines whether or not we can rush. You gotta rush it. Success. More food for the kids. More caps for the adults. We could rush it again, huh? What are these guys doing? Get to work. Austin Yexus and Ralph Keaton. Get in the diner. Start sweeping. Okay. Do we get another lunchbox? I think we do. I wonder how, um... How's he doing? Uh-oh. Who's this individual? Exploring Wasteland. This is cool. Wasteland expedition started. Maybe I should have dropped some breadcrumbs. Get out there. You you don't come back without something. This guy looks like a politician. Roger Taylor. We'll call him. Look at him. He's in a suit. He's got endurance. Let's go ahead and name him. Uh, Prez Taylor. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far. <laughs> Alright, um, definitely something different for the channel. Let's go ahead and Prez Taylor. How about you, uh, what would happen if we put him in the... In there. Your vault needs a steady supply of power, food, and water to run properly. If you run low on any of these sources, the bars at the top of the screen will turn red. When low on power, rooms will start shutting down. When low on food, dwellers start to lose health. When low on water, dwellers become irradiated. Irradiated? The current resource line on the resource bar shows your vault's current needs. Hint, the further above or below the greater resource line your resources are, the greater the effect. Okay, so looks like we need some water. Let's go to our water treatment here. Let's rush this, boys. Let's put someone else in here. Can we put three people in a room? This guy, Austin Yexus. He's good at drilling. Get in there. Oh, there can only be two people in a room, huh? Well, maybe we should all paint the vault a different color. How about you get to work? Don't blow up, please. Alright. 
So you can have only two people per room. Good. Get to work there. Okay, so things seem to be going fairly well here. Let's check on our, our lucky couple. If I could sing, I'd totally write a song about you. How do you check their love? Prez Taylor just slid in right there. This guy probably not very... Oh, this is living quarters, huh? Ooh. Why don't you stay here, Kathy Sutton? The only person that hasn't been named. Wait. Why are you leaving her? That's where you're supposed to be. Oh, I guess there was no magic there. Alright, can we see if we can build or we may have to excavate? Uh, let's, can we do a diner? Another diner right here. Make it a large diner. There we go. Collect some power. And we do have a lunchbox. I don't think we're ready to do that just yet. Alright, we, we're having some water issues here, huh? Want to play catch later? How about you just get to work there, buddy? Um, what's the report on the status on this room? Let's check it. Let's check on our dweller. Exploring. Have you got anything yet, Chandler? Ooh. What what's happened here? This is so cool. What a well done mobile game. Mostly mobile games. I'm done playing it within like three minutes. Um, I need to. Adjust the screen screen though. Okay, what found a rad roach, a squish it. Suffered two damage, earned twenty nine XP. Identified a bloat fi. Time to killed it. Earned twenty two hundred and fifty five XP. Nope. You you keep going until you, you find something for the family. Alright, so we extended our diner. Can we put are these people getting along? Are we in a vertebrate? Cause my heart is taking off. That's her saying that. Kathy. Oscar and Kathy. What's going on in here? I find myself completely drawn to you. He's laying it on thick. What is going on here? Laying it on... Ooh. Who's this? Scott Crawford. He's good in the... And he's lucky. We're going to call him... Scott Bayo. Oh, Scott Bay. We can leave him as Scott Bay, why not? Um, Scott Bay, he's gonna he's more of a a playboy, if you will. So we're gonna send him out into the vault, get some gear for us. Good. We're running we're definitely running low on water. Let's check um how do we check what what is good for what? Water treatment, perception. So we need some perceptive people in there. Do we have anyone with high P? Austin Yexa, he's in water treatment. Oscar Meyer, that's it. No one's really high on P. How's Chandler doing? He's doing alright. Suffered damage. Time to run. This is so cool. I'm really enjoying this. Hope you guys are too. Alright, so let's go ahead and send Scott Bay out. Do some collecting for us, buddy. Even though we could probably use your help in the diner. Get out there, buddy. Um, looks like everyone else is pretty much working here or flirting. Oh, we need some food. Get to work here. Food and water starting to run low here. More caps. More Skrilla. A famous author. They could write my bi biography. A dweller. A profile in awesomeness. I s dude, Ralph Keaton is probably my least favorite dweller right now. So cocky. All right, looks like we need some more water. Is a constant battle here. Rush that up. Ooh, it's 50% rush. No, thank you. I think we are gonna build another room here, though. Do we unlock something? Nope. Ooh. Storage room. Increase the number of weapons and outfits you can hold. Yes, please. Okay, I don't want to put it next to there. Uh, I think our diner's big enough for now. All right, looks like someone leveled up here. Your most important resource is power. The more rooms you build, the more power you need. If your power gauge starts turning red, rooms start shutting down. A room, shut a shutdown room goes dark and won't produce resources. Rebalance your power by assigning better dwellers or rushing the power rooms. Okay, so I think we have too many rooms and not enough power. 
So I wish you could move a room because we would definitely do that. But I think what we are going to do is we're going to end this episode by opening this lunchbox. What do we got? That Hearthstone life. Oh, we got to click it. All right, what do we got here? Rad away. Caps, 100 caps, we'll take it. See, I don't think you can, but can you buy these? Can you only unlock these lunch boxes or can you buy them with caps? We'll find out. Lab coat, very cool. That gives us intelligence plus three. These are some worthwhile purchases here. Weapon, hardened, uh, sawed off shotgun, six to nine damage. That's pretty hard not to influence me to buy some there. All right, I think this is a good spot to end. I actually don't want to end, but it's a good spot to end this episode of Fallout Shelter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and like to see more of it on the channel, I encourage you to hit the like button. Hitting the like button it supports the video, helps support the channel, helps support your face, helps support the series, and helps support our ability to put more mobile games on the channel. That's not going to happen. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this and who your favorite vault dweller is in Vault 112. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys next time.